we want to talk to you about your project. You have done some innovative things. You're trying to build a new technology right. for creating energy. First of a kind technology. It's called geologic thermal energy storage, geotest for short. Uh, we're partnered with three national laboratories in the Department of Energy, and we'll be demonstrating this technology on the west side of Kern County in California. And this has been a big issue for California because we have tried to go towards green energy and solar and wind has been a big component of where the state has been headed. But somehow, especially with solar where we can produce a lot, we cannot really store it. And you're trying to tackle that, right? Yeah, exactly. We're, we're tackling the issues that California has a mandate of clean power by 2040, 100% clean power. So we've seen a tremendous amount of solar and wind developed in California. But as you say, there, there isn't enough storage. We have lithium ion batteries, which are typically two to four hour durations. However, the day is 24 hours long and you really only have good sunlight for six to eight hours during the day, depending on the season. Geotest, what we're bringing to market, gives you a thousand hours of energy storage, which is 42 days. So when you truly have cloudy weather, like we've had the past three years in a row in California, we've had very heavy rains, considering we're a desert climate. It's stressed the energy storage mechanism that we have, which is the short duration batteries. So we're trying to solve for the future as well as the present with Geotess. And you're using oil fields. Can you tell us how this works? It's fascinating, yeah. And the oil reservoir, what we're heating, a depth of 1,200 feet below the surface, we're using an oil reservoir because oil has been trapped over millennia, over geologic time. It's been trapped in these reservoirs by faults that seal it into place. And so you have a geologic container which is effectively our battery. So rather than a battery that you're mining minerals and then you're building a battery in China and then you're shipping the battery here and then you're installing the battery and it's, and it's gonna be in a container of some sort on the surface, we're saying we drill into the oil reservoir and that's where we store our energy. So it's, it's really a first of a kind technology that can revolutionize the energy storage landscape for California and potentially anywhere where you have oil reservoirs and good solar irradiance. So we're, we're storing sunlight in the oil reservoir. So you're not taking the oil out and using the oil, right? How, how does it work? So the way the process works, on the surface, we install parabolic troughs, concentrated solar. So these parabolic troughs are very known technology. They've been developed over many decades, however, they became less efficient as flat panel photovoltaics and they didn't have the storage component. So now what we're doing is we're hybridizing the thermal energy system at the surface, the solar array, with storage in the subsurface. So how it works is the sunlight hits the trough, the parabolic trough. These are really, they are much stronger than the solar panels that we have in homes, right? They're much more efficient. efficient. Yeah, so you, you get more irradiance collected and it's concentrated solar. So you bring that sunlight into the trough, it concentrates onto a pipe, a receiver tube that sits right in front of the trough, and it heats a working fluid to 700 degrees Fahrenheit. That goes to a heat exchanger and we bring up, we drill wells, and we bring up through production wells, we bring up brackish water and oil. The, o the oil is separated and sold, so it's, a, it's one of the lowest carbon intensity oils in the world, so clean oil production. And then we heat the water, the brackish water from that oil reservoir, we heat that at the heat exchange to 500 degrees, and then we, we put it back down into the reservoir with injection wells. Over a period of six to nine months, we heat the subsurface to 500 degrees. And so we're heating about two to 300 feet thick of porous permeable sandstone beneath our feet. So it's the stone that's thermal. getting... It's the actual sandstone that's... It's not the water. That's the water heats it. It circulates through all the pore spaces of that porous permeable 
sandstone. If, so if you think of it like a sponge, we're, we're pumping the water, the hot water into that porous permeable sponge. And over time, that whole rock formation gets heated to 500 degrees. And that's what gives us the thousand hours or the 42 days duration because of, of the thickness and the, the sheer magnitude and size of our battery. And so how do you then uh, bring that energy back? It's, the, 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 it's important hard. question, yeah. <laughs> so once we're hot, once our reservoir is heated to 500 degrees, we have a separate closed loop system. These are all closed loops where we produce the water through production wells. We send it to a different heat exchanger that is connected to a steam turbine power generation set, which is very known technology. So we send the 500 degree water to that heat exchange, which gives us the ability to produce geothermal power on demand. So there's zero emissions, there's zero combustion in this process, and you can create dispatchable, what we call dispatchable power. So that's what California's grid really is in dire need of. We have too much solar power during the day, so we're shedding load, power prices are really cheap, but then at night, we're still reliant on natural gas and imported electrons from outside of California to meet the need of our grid. Which is generally fossil fuels and generally coal in fossil. some cases. Absolutely. So we're, we're positioning this technology to come on at peak, so when the sun goes down, we come online. So during the day you're heating up, or you've already been heating this thing heating, up on a regular yes. basis during the day using right. the water. Right. So you're taking the water and you're sending it and getting the, the ground right. like underneath heated ah. up. Yeah, yeah, we call it synthetic geothermal. We're taking a reservoir that was naturally about 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're heating it to 500 degrees, creating a geothermal resource in depleted oil reservoirs. So these systems that we've been told we just need to plug all the wells and throw them away actually have tremendous value when we look at it from a thermal energy storage standpoint and the ability to, as I said, revolutionize our grid and provide gigawatts of long duration energy storage. So California's independent system operator and the California Energy Commission have said we need somewhere around 70 gigawatts of long duration energy storage or storage that's beyond 10 hours as they define it. We don't have anything close to that right now. Lithium batteries, as I said, are really two to four hour storage. So we need 70 gigawatts of something that has never been developed yet in California. So what we're doing with Geotest is a first of a kind technology, but using known processes. Everything about what we're doing is proven in its individual component. We're putting it together in a novel process with these depleted oil reservoirs to literally save our grid.